Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the new update in our Harbor 3 Model Y, which is 2025.26.3. It does include Grok and some other interesting things. Um, <clears throat> only available on uh, AMD Ryzen uh, chip cars, so newer Hardware 3s. Some of the older Hardware 3s on Intel do not yet get Grok, uh, but I think they do some, get some of these other updates, so not sure uh, about that. <clears throat> but I actually don't have it on our Hardware 4 car, so in this case, we've actually gotten an update that is nice to have uh, on our Hardware 3 car first. Of course, not the uh, FSD update, so that's that's a bummer, but um, definitely some nice updates here. So let's just go through these updates on the car. All right, so we did get this update today, 2025.26.3. Uh, it does just say minor fixes for that, but we did not have 2025.26. That is the update that actually includes these other updates. We'll go from maybe least exciting first uh, to, to Grok. So <clears throat> the audio settings update. So this one, uh, basically you can just do some equalizer presets, which honestly I'm not likely to ever use uh, because I'm not going to have a, a good idea of how I want my... Uh, sound profile to be working with different music and usually I just listen to podcasts anyway so probably won't use that ever but it's a nice feature to have uh, <clears throat> site info uh, at arrival so this one is actually for the superchargers and they can give you some more information when you arrive to the super supercharger as to whether you need to do a value service or a pay to park and um, <clears throat> give you some information on access codes parking restrictions that sort of thing so that's actually a nice thing uh, I don't run into that much, and usually the superchargers that I have gone to have not been in the city. Uh, that would probably be something that's more likely to happen with you, when you're in a city. I have gone to a couple where you had to go into an airport um, parking lot, so that you had to go through uh, security, but you've just had, you know, I'm supercharging and you wouldn't have to pay anything for parking, you would just have to pay for the supercharging, of course, but... Um, that was kind of weird because it was like, there was no official way to do it, but you know, you just tell them what you were doing and it worked. So this will be nice to have some more information on that and as well as, um, stuff where it says like there's restroom availability and, and that sort of thing. <clears throat> now this one, one of the more interesting ones, the dash cam update. So that is <clears throat> nice because before you just had one playback speed. You didn't have a good way to uh, kind of go through the video at different speeds and stuff like that. So now we have the the playback speeds. We have, we'll check it out in a second. Um, and then, you know, the skip ahead and back. So that is helpful. Um, should make it a lot easier to review dash cam footage. And then lastly, um, we do have Grok Beta. So I don't even have this on my phone, even though I have the Grok app. You don't have Grok 4, but... In the car, I believe it is actually using Grok 4, so <clears throat> it does require the premium premium connectivity or Wi-Fi connection. Um, in this case, we have both, um, but also uh, it doesn't do anything to control your vehicle. So it says right there, it's currently in beta and does not issue commands to your car. So you can't say, you know, hey Grok, like turn my seat heater on or something like that, or navigate to this uh, store. It won't do any of that, uh, but you can ask for suggestions, ask it questions, that sort of thing. Um, so we'll check that out here in just a second. So first, <clears throat> uh, I'm not really going to be able to look at anything on the site info at arrival, but we can go to the dash cam viewer. And you see on the dash cam, now for sentry mode, you do have these additional uh, items that you can actually use. So you can press play. You can skip back 15, 4, 15 seconds. <clears throat> you can also change the playback speed. So 2x, 0.5 if you wanted it to be really slow for some reason. Um, and then, you know, obviously 1x speed, you can do that. So these make it a lot easier to control different things. Um, I'm not really sure what the purpose of this is. Like... You, you can kind of expand the view a little bit or not. I don't know if it makes much difference. Maybe it does in the back camera. 
not much. It just gives you a little border around it. So that's fine. <clears throat> um, so just some nice improvements to the dash cam footage or the, the playback of the dash cam uh, footage. <clears throat> and then lastly here, we can pull up Grok. So we do have Grok here in the car. Uh, tell me a joke. Why don't skeletons fight each other? Because they don't have the guts. Which is sad because actually uh, <laughs> I just asked that question and it just gave me the same answer. So it gave me the same joke. So that's interesting. Um, let's try it again. What's the best restaurant in the area? Oh, there are a few great spots. People really love the old mill for authentic southern food and a cozy vibe. Is that the only one? No, there's also Table in Maine. Great for upscale dining with a local twist. Both are super popular around here. <laughs> okay, interesting. Yeah, I haven't actually gone to either one of those uh, <laughs> those restaurants, so I'm not sure how good they are. But um, yeah, so you can just ask it questions uh, just like any uh, like chat GPT or whatever. But now it's just available in your car, so you... you you wouldn't have to have your phone available or whatever, and you could just ask it questions. And maybe you can tell it like story. There's different options on here, so you can do like language tutor, therapist, storyteller. Uh, let's do storyteller. Tell me a really short story. I'm sorry. I'm better at long, detailed tales. What kind of story are you needed for? Something adventurous, mysterious? Romantic? Never mind. That's fine. Maybe a bit of fantasy. Stop. <laughs> All right. So I don't use uh, ChatGPT or Grok a whole lot, um, but I should probably get used to using it a little bit more because it is pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, you can just do like kind of whatever you want with a, a chat agent, and you could like ask it questions about you know who was this actor in whatever uh, movie or or whatever. Um, let's see. What's a, what's a new one out? Well, we could ask it an obvious one. Who stars in Happy Gilmore 2? Adam Sandler, Julie Bowen, Christopher McDonald, Ben Stiller, and Dennis Dugan reprise their roles with new cast members, Benny Safdie and Benito Antonio Martinez Ocasio joining the film. There's also a bunch of cameos like Travis Kelsey and Ben Okay, Benny. stop. When does it come out? Happy Gilmore 2 comes out on Netflix on Friday, July 25th, just in time for the weekend. Right. All right. So, yeah, you can just kind of ask it things anytime you want, and you could do that while you're driving. So that's actually a pretty nice thing to have. Uh, so, yeah, just a, a, it's a little update, but it has some cool features in it. Grok, I'm probably going to use that one some. Uh, it could be interesting to, to see... You know, ask it questions. I mean, often uh, uh, when I'm in the car with the family, they ask some question and we try to, like, somebody Googles it or something, but we could ask Gruck. So could be something we do. Um, and the dash cam stuff is nice. The other two um, probably won't use as much. The Obviously, the superchargers, that'll be nice to have uh, if I do experience a supercharger that has information like that that's, uh, that's needed. Um, but like I said, haven't run across that whole lot um, doing cross-country road trips and in our area. But anyway, what's awesome is this is a three-year-old car, and we just continue to get updates. It gets better and better all the time. So yeah, that's one of the great things about Tesla is just a free update that just came over the air, installed it, and now the car is better. So that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.